Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Today's Angler. <laughs> what is happening? Well, I'll tell you what's happening to us. It's opening weekend of yep. musky fishing. Musky fishing, yeah. In May, generally not a good thing in, here in Madison. These lakes are big, they're deep, they're cold, they're yeah. tough to catch early. Yeah, so we're gonna try grinding it out today. Um, Probably some ultra shallow yeah. approaches. Maybe some really deep, yep. maybe some in between. We have no idea what to do, so that's what that's what you do. You just try a bunch of different things and hopefully can snag one. But Generally speaking, action was a little slow yesterday overall yep. uh, on the old face box, but yeah. uh, hey, they do live here. They, so. They're here, there's a lot of them, there's big ones. Hopefully we can get one. Oh, got her, got her. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Nice fish, nice musky, nice musky. Come on, come on. Okay, here you go, here you go. Yep. Oh, I knew it. She was not hooked good. But a musky, it wasn't that big. I'm sorry, I freaked out. First reel, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. Mid, -30s. Mid 30s. But we're finally onto something, guys. It's been a long time. Um, we were actually scoping out some bass guys. They were whaling on some bass and we kind of snuck up on their line and musky on the balsa twitch bait by Custom X. That was fun though, it jumped. Damn, Robbie. <laughs> it jumped, that was cool. As but, soon as we got in that good weeds, huh? Like yep. six feet. We'll mark that and uh, all right, keep casting. Robbie, how are you working that bait? All right, well this is the Custom X CXT five inch bait which is awesome size for early season i'm gonna show lee how i was working this bait uh very cool spot it's a back bay um the weeds are kind of up and down there's a lot of pockets so basically just reeling her down take a weed there then you kind of let it pause twitch twitch keep your retrieve and i just like adding random twitches here and there but you know just keeping it keeping it different gives them uh, i don't know makes them want to bite out there instead of having a nice musky right at both sides which is very hard to trigger this time of year so yeah just keeping it different and keeping that weed contact so maybe we're on to something maybe we can catch a Mad madison musky in may <laughs> this way oh what here you go come on come on come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, I will. Really? Is that a pike or a musk? That had to be a little musky. There's muskies in this water, apparently. Um, that thing was really hot, but it really spooked off fast. I don't think we want to educate that one, but probably a mid 20 incher. But some more action from muskies. Oh, big musky, big musky right there. Big one, big one, dude. As soon as I stand, oh, there's two of them. They're paired. Oh, okay. They are big. Look at them. Dang. Both of those were 44, 42 to 45 inches. Okay, muskies exist. But unfortunately, they were paired up. But the one thing about muskies in this water, they don't reproduce naturally. So it's not like you're hindering the spawn by fishing them, even if they're still paired up. So not a big deal, folks, okay? 100% stocking efforts for this water. Are you having fun yet? Are we having fun <laughs> yet? We are musky fishing in May yeah. on the local waters. It's not a good scenario, generally speaking. I think we should just hop in the truck and drive south. Yeah, that's not a bad call. There's muskies biting southern, southerly, but not here. No. Well, we did get one nibble. We had yeah. one on. Yeah, that's... Almost to the bag. Yeah. I mean, it's this not close. like you can't catch them right yeah. now, but, you know, on the 
this water we're fishing, we're just spoiled, quite mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah, I mean, we had one bite and we've saw, seen multiple fish, which it's not a bad day, it's just, they're not eating, eating top water. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I know there's plenty of you out there probably saying, uh, you guys had action from you know several right, muskies right. one day that's great it's just you know yeah. it's all relative to the body of water yep. that you're on so i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do for this for the afternoon might switch it up might hit some different spots might try current i don't know it's one of those variables that can kind of help you in the spring if there's any different current areas on your lake maybe <laughs> but other than that i don't know i suppose we'll go try a couple different things see what happens uh all you can do is yeah. keep doing things yep. until something happens. <laughs> that's all I got for you, yeah. folks. Great teaching points, but that's what we're going to do. Go try doing some things. Another pike, all right. That is on the new prototype uh, something bait. This is lovely here. Should we get some underwater of this, Robbie? Yeah, that would help. Here, let, let's see, this looks good. Okay, this looks like poop here. Even the bluegills are dying. Look at that, it's bluegills. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go fish some fish. You wanna go fish fish? Yeah, we had a bite somewhere, we should probably go back here. We okay. Got storms coming, I think. All right, folks, come on with us. I'm sure it'll be an adventure. Lee, Lee, what's that? What's that thing? No. No? No. <laughs> it's no. It means you know fish, but we could catch one right before it. Well, it looks like our last chance. Let's get it done. Come on, man, catch those fish. Gonna go out there and we're gonna get them. What do you do right before a storm? You go back on fish that you know are there. We've had action in one spot, so that's what we're doing. Using the same bait that I had the bite on, that little twitch bait. Oh, there was something. Something flashed. I think it was a muskie. Yeah. Pretty sure it was a muskie. Just did not see it long enough. Well, folks, that was not a banger. No, not at all we apologize yeah, yeah but we tried but that's the reality of springtime musky fishing especially here in southern wisconsin not an easy uh task to catch a musky right now not at all we no. almost boated oh, one yeah. it basically was, did it was a decent you know? fish you <laughs> yeah. know yeah mid 30s would have been good to grab and hold but whatever still looking for the first mad chain musky of the year <sighs> Gotta wait till June, probably. <laughs> yeah, at this rate, uh, the weather this coming week does not look no. uh, real nice for that. No, cold, still cold. And wet. Yeah, not what you want for springtime here, but maybe you will go elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe, see here. maybe. <laughs> let's uh, let's think about this. Yeah, yep. And we'll get back to you on that. Yep. We appreciate you watching. Please hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs>